Hey, Brad Wardle, Cap. <laughs> hey, good grief. <laughs> Call sign Captain Wingnut. Man, oh man, what a day already, and it's just 10 o'clock. <laughs> hey, welcome to my channel, Brad Wardle. Call sign Captain Wingnut. Yeah, that's me. Cougar Ridge Ranch, high in the Uinta Mountains of eastern Utah, 7,000 feet. Air is thin up here. Gotta be tough. Today I'm going to show you how to recover these cotton-picking expensive little one-pound cylinders of propane. You can get them for, I see them, you know, in the store, two for ten bucks. That's five bucks a piece. And they've only got a pound of propane. That's a quarter of a gallon. And when it's gone, you toss them. Ah, that's wasteful to me. That's not saving the environment. That's not being frugal with your money. So today I'm going to show you how to refill these and save some money. It only takes a quarter of a gallon, and you got a five-gallon, you got a five-gallon can of propane. That's 20 of these that you can fill right there. So. Let me show you how to do this. Now, you're going to want to do this in an open area. I do it in, in my, little, uh, my little gas shed where I keep my paints and gases and things. I leave the door open and uh, just in case there's some gas floating around. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to show you how to fill these. The can weighs one, about one pound empty. And when it's full with one pound of, of gas, it's about 2.2 pounds. So if you've got a little scale, that you can weigh with. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, when it's done, uh, you've got them filled and you're ready to roll again. Ready to go ice fishing, camping, whatever you do with them. So let's go fill these babies. Before I forget, don't forget to subscribe and click the notify button so that you know when I release new videos. Okay, so some people will say get some forceps and pull this out once you get this in. But this, this Schrader valve is sealed and when you pull it out, it may not seal again and you may, be, you may lose the gas that you put in your bottle. And so I don't do that. I just I just do some patience. Now, the, the filler is a tiny, tiny, tiny little hole, so it takes a long time to do this. So what I do is I just put the bottles on, on the adapter, like this. And then I turn the bottle upside down almost. This baby's full. Open the valve. And then I just let it sit for a day, hours, half a day. It, it, it takes a long time. Usually I'll put one on uh, in the morning, like now when I'm getting ready to go out and work. And then I'll come back in the evening and uh, check it. And put another one on if it's full. If not, I leave it overnight. Okay, a safety tip. These adapters do not have a stop valve in them. So when they're screwed into the tank, if you open the valve on the tank, they shoot gas out. So you've got to have smarter kids. Don't teach kids under 18 this trick unless they're very responsible. And that's you as a parent. You have to be the parent. You have to be a parent and teach your children logic, common sense, and don't set stupid kids free on society. This can be very, very dangerous if you don't pay attention. So put this in the bottle, screw the, cat, screw the, screw the little one pounder onto here, and then open the valve. If the one pounder's not on here and you open the valve on the tank, it'll just shoot gas out and you've got an explosion waiting to happen. Woo! Boy. Uh, it's probably not going to blow the Schrader valve because it's going to be the same pressure in both bottles. So once, once you, it, it's gone through the process, then you turn the valve off 
like this. And then we put the model back up. Then you quickly take this off. And then I have a scale and reset the scale and I'll put the bottle on. It should be 2.2 pounds. This is 2.195 so it's right at 2.2 pounds and that means it's full. That's got a quarter of a gallon of propane in it which weighs one pound. The bottle itself weighs about one pound to begin with so that's how you fill these little cotton pickers. Okay, the last thing that you need to do is get yourself some window cleaner that's kind of bubbly and you're going to spray that on the filler and on that Schrader valve and if you look close you can see this one's leaking. This is trash. I'm going to have to throw this one away because see that bubbling and you don't want to use anything but soapy water. But that Schrader valve has had it and so this jar, this bottle is not going to be any good. It's going to leak all its gas out anyway, so just throw it away. Thanks for watching. Captain Wingnut called Brad. Who am I? <laughs> yeah, Brad Wardle, Captain Wingnut. Call sign Captain Wingnut. Man, oh man, if I'm not in the air, I don't know what's going on. Brad Wardle, call sign Captain Wingnut from Cougar Ridge Ranch, high in the Uinta Mountains of eastern Utah, signing off. Thanks for watching.